Apple Internet folks. This is one Apple Maker, and today I will be just quickly going over the detail of my successful inst installation of Mac OS X Lion on my PC. So basically, if you watched my um, computer update number two and number four, you would know my system specs pretty well. Otherwise, I highly suggest suggest that you go back and watch my computer update number two because I have all I have all the system spec of my main computer that I am currently running Lion on. But I'm still going to quickly just briefly go over the specs with you. So first of all, let's go to about this Mac. As you can see, it's version 10.7. It's a legal, legal copy. There is no hacked versions. <laughs> I don't know why I'm I don't know why I said that. So yes, I'm running a 2.93 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo E7500 processor with a 3 megabyte of L3 cache, I mean L2 cache and a 1066 megahertz front side bus. So if we go to about more, I mean more about this Mac after 4 gigabyte of 800 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM Corsair and PMY. So apparently this is a Mac Pro. I'm happy. I'm not going back and edit my SM BIOS because I don't need to. I love Mac. I love Mac Pro. So I'm running a EVGA GE Force 8400 GS 512 megabyte uh, PCI Express X16 version 1.0 graphics card with uh, with MV enabler installed thanks to MultiBeast 3.7.2. The latest version of MultiBeast 3.8 apparently removed support for it. NVIDIA. So I was quite disappointed, I must tell you. So we're gonna get out of here. It's evil. So, in order to install OS X Lion, you have to first give credit to. Let me click his name. Right, give credit to Tony Mac X86. I love this web page so much. It's what it's what has been successful to me and all the people who run Mac on their PC. So basically, if you have a Intel Core 2 based system, you can run Mac OS X Snow Leopard and Lion on your computer, provided that you have you have all the supported hardware that are compatible with compatible with Mac so yeah Snow Leopard must be installed first up to 10.6.8 and if you don't know how to do that he has everything on here that you need to know and um, yeah I'm kind of jumping out jumping all over the place right now let's go back to my system preferences and show you that audio actually actually works so right now for output I'm using my internal ALC888B uh, audio codec chipset from from my on my Gigabyte GA G41 dash E ES2L motherboard. That's the LGA775 low end your entry everyday motherboard. And then as for my output, I'm recording through my Logitech USB H330 headset because um, I don't want to use my internal microphone output jack don't blame me for that and the display is running at 1360 by 768 now the native resolution is 1366 but I'm okay with 1360 just fine and um, you know launchpad works fine except I'm still using Windows based mouse and keyboard and when I get money I'll make sure to buy a Bluetooth dongle so that I can buy a Bluetooth Mac keyboard and Bluetooth Mac magic trackpad because I want to ha take advantage of all the gestures and so yeah you saw that launchpad works and mission control works so far so far is explained because everybody such as iTunes is minimized to the system tray down here <laughs> system tray in Windows
I don't know why you call that Mac Doc. Yeah. Whatever. <clears throat> so, oh, and also what plagued me when I upgraded to 10.7 was the new stupid mouse option that tricked me because in order to, no, because when you scroll up, the pages go down to simulate what you you will be doing on an iPad 2 or iPod Touch. So to fix that, and if you have a Windows based PC or just on a Mac, go to mouse option and make sure you untick this option so that you can actually scroll up and down right without having to simulate as if you were on an iPad 2, which is very confusing when you scroll. That, that plagued me for a long time until Brian Tom from CNET helped me from his Apple Byte video. Go check it out. It was awesome. So yeah, this is basically my success video to upgrading to Lion with little kernel panics, which I hated. But what do you expect? Mac on PC. Haha. <laughs> Whatever. So stay tuned for possibly another computer tutorials or computer based based video. And there's always hope for your great name by Natalie Grant full version if I even get anyone to act to actually make a comment or start a module. Okay? Good enough for me. One Apple Maker signing out if I can locate that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> signing out. Have a nice day, folks. Be, be sure to subscribe if you love my videos. I hope you do.